Hi everyone, Kenton from the Rocket Blocks team here. In this mock interview video, we're sitting down with Ankur Biswas, who is a product manager at Microsoft focusing on their Azure Cloud Computing Group. And in this particular mock interview video, we're going to ask Ankur to explain the concept of cloud computing to someone non-technical like his grandfather or his grandmother. So let's go ahead and see how Ankur handles this. So uh, let's imagine that you are a um, product manager, uh, you work at Microsoft, and you need to explain uh, cloud computing to someone that's got no familiarity with the space, like explaining it to your grandfather or your grandmother. How would you explain what cloud computing is to them? That's, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to go off of the assumption here that the, the audience I'm speaking to is, is not technical, but but fairly familiar with kind of how the world works in general, because I generally tend to explain with examples and analogies. Uh, so if I'm swinging off and, and you don't understand it and you're in that persona, just let me know and I can okay. go into more detail. So I'll pretend that I'm, I'm your grandfather and what I'll awesome. say is that uh, I'm, fairly, I'm familiar with how the world works. I have like a, a Gmail account that I, that I use sure. to communicate with you and, uh, and you know, other family members. And um, yeah, but I, I, I didn't I'm not an engineer by trade. I'm not awesome. a computer science person. Okay, that, that, that absolutely makes sense. Uh, so if I were to focus on cloud computing, there's many different parts of it, and I'll try and explain and break down the crux of the service and what's in it for, for people and, and why it is so popular, because that's okay. kind of the big questions in, in people's mind. Very simply defined at a very, very high level, cloud computing or cloud infrastructure is a very wide network of services tools and infrastructure that makes it easy for a customer at the end of the day to run their business or be productive or do what they want. Now, there's many, many, many things that I just said, which, which mm -hmm. may not altogether make sense. But ideally, it's a, it's a, you can think about it as a black box that makes it easier for businesses and people to do what they want to do. And let's, let's go into that a yeah. little bit. As an example, I'm, I'm fairly familiar that I'm, I know most people are fairly familiar and you should be too with just money and, and how you behave with money. Uh, yeah. you, you have money that you've earned through your job or you've got acquired through other ways. What you basically want with, with that money is easy access to it. And you want to be able to spend that money on whatever services you want, whenever you want to want to spend it. You don't necessarily want to think about the security guards you need to hire to protect it. You don't necessarily want to uh, really be concerned that a moth may eat it while you store it under your bed. Uh, you want to know that it's that it's safe and secure somewhere, uh, right? So things like that. That's where the services of a bank comes in. A bank helps keep that money safe for you. The bank holds it on your behalf and through things like ATMs, debit cards, credit cards, et cetera, makes it very easy for you to access that money and spend that money. And you know that that money is rightfully yours. It's not going to go to anyone else. Mm -hmm. Cloud computing fall, follows a very, very similar concept, but for computing services, essentially. Mm. Computers, databases, security, firewalls, things, things like that. So anything that, that a computer would need to be really, really productive. Let's let's. Yeah, go ahead. You have, you have yeah, questions. Yeah, so you're saying like I could have a computer and use it, but it it would be in some sort of computing bank. Very very similar to that, and and I can I can give you an example of the ad, ad, advantages as well. Okay. Uh, it's it's the way for you to to maybe rent out a computer from someone else and use it like it was your own, but not have to worry about where it about it breaking down. You wouldn't mm -hmm. have to worry about updating it with the latest software. Mm -hmm. uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to worry uh, about um, how much or how much you're using it at one point in time, which is especially relevant for businesses. So, mm -hmm. and that's where the majority of cloud computing money comes from. Uh, so, let's take another example. Let's let's think about airlines. You, okay. you are uh, familiar with American Airlines, I'm, I'm yeah. sure, which is a huge kind of airline company. Now, as American Airlines your speciality and what you're really good at is flying planes and providing kind of transportation services for people. You may not necessarily have the most qualified software engineers. You may not want to necessarily spend uh, the amount of money it takes to get software engineers from Google or from Facebook or from Microsoft onto your team to control your computers. Okay. That's one thing. 
The other thing is that you may have seasonal trends in, in people consuming your services, right? So let's say uh, in November and December, Thanksgiving and Christmas period in America, there's a huge number of travelers who want to go home to visit their families. Mm. Yeah. And you need, let's say, when people are booking tickets online, 50,000 computers to serve the needs of, of this many travelers. Okay. Um, however, in the month of March, when there's final exams going on, those same students aren't traveling to visit home, visit, visit their families. So maybe you just need 10,000 computers to service the entire demand of American Airlines across the US at, at that time. In, in the world in which you are responsible for all of those computers, you have to buy 50,000 computers and maintain all 50,000 of them through the entire year only for that two week or one month period when, when all 50,000 computers mm -hmm. are actually in use. What cloud computing does is that it allows you to, to give away that part or that burden to another company like mm -hmm. Amazon or Microsoft. So in this case, Microsoft owns 100,000 computers or a million computers because that's the business that they're in. They rent out 50,000 of them to you over the month of November and December when you really need them. And in January, they flip a switch and you're only using 10,000 computers. What that means is over the two month period when you have lots of traffic, you're paying rent for 50,000 computers, but over the rest of the 10 months, you're paying for a lot less. So mm -hmm. it's, it's much better for your bottom line. You don't have to buy and maintain 50,000 computers. The other thing is Microsoft does have the best software engineers in the world. They have the best security specialists in the world because that's the business that they're in. You can kind of offshore that responsibility of maintaining that IT or computer infrastructure to Microsoft and you can pay them for it or maybe they'll give it to you for free if you, if you rent mm -hmm. enough computers, for example. You don't have to worry about hiring that talent. You don't have to worry about paying that talent. All you have to worry about is hiring the best uh, pilots, buying the best planes, spending the most amount of time making the journey comfortable for your customers, what you want to do and where your money comes from. Mm, okay. So that's that's the beauty of cloud computing to the business as well as to to cloud providers themselves. Okay, that that makes sense. You know, I'm not a not a computer science major, but I was an economics major, and it sounds like <laughs> you're talking about like a comparative advantage here. Is yeah. Microsoft sets this up, and I can use their computing power w Correct. without having to have my own computers for my business. Yeah, there's there's that, and also allowing you to free up the opportunity cost of having to spend money and resources doing something which you may not want to do or may not necessarily be very good at. So that's another huge advantage of, of, of that too. And also being able to scale your business. So next year, if, if your company does really well, and you need 100,000 computers, you can just rent an additional 50,000 from Microsoft instead of buying another 50,000 uh, that, that may save you money on the long term. Uh, so that's another big advantage of, of being in the, in the cloud space as, as well. Got it. Sounds convenient. I like it. Okay.